Hey, what's up guys? What's up everybody in YouTube land? I'm going to be doing this quick tutorial on uh, with FL Studio, but really it's applicable to no matter what software that you're using. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to set up your um, MIDI controller. So you see I got two keyboards here. I got this keyboard and this, and this keyboard and I got a... The, ow. I got a... Um, uh, MPD 26 right over here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to set those up so you can play them si simultaneously with different instruments at the same time. So not like on different channels singly, but you know all at the same time all together. Without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how to get this set up. Okay. So on here you see we have FL keys. We have Slayer. Ah, that's really, really loud. Let me go ahead and turn that down. So. We have Slayer. We have FPC. Which is... And um, those are the only ones we're going to be using for this tutorial. Notice that they will play both with both keyboards. But both keyboards are controlling the same thing. But we want our keyboard to control different things. I'm going to change this from Slayer though. Because Slayer is kind of loud. Let's go ahead and replace this with Orchestra. Anyways. That's better for me. That's better on my ears. Slayer is so loud. Um, anyways, so the first thing that you're going to want to do, well, basically, every controller is different. Changing the MIDI controller is not dependent on the software. F Fruity Loops isn't going to do it. You're not going to be changing your, your, um, your, you're not going to be changing your MIDI channel in the software. You're going to be changing your MIDI channel on the controller. Now, because I only have the ML the M Audio key rig and the Radium 49 and the MPD, I can only show you on those items. But I'm going to show you essentially how to do it. But you're going to have to figure it out for your own instruments. Um, for lots of Radium or M Audio stuff, it's either going to be the way that this key rig 49 is or the Radium 49 is. Most of their stuff is very similar, so, but these two are completely different from each other. But they're mostly similar to one of these two, which I'm going to show you. Okay, anyways, let's get down to the fun stuff. Here we are, born to be kings and the masters. And, oh, hello. Anyways, so, the first thing that you're going to want to do, let me set this camera down real quick. Let's just stick the camera over here. In order to do this, all your MIDI channels have to be selected, the ones that you want to play. Even if you're not playing them, they have to be selected. What I mean by this is, this little green guy right here, the green indicator that the channel is selected, that changes when you go from one channel to the next. All the ones that you want to use have to be selected. So, that's going to be, you want to do that, you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard. Holding down the shift key, go ahead and click on the green indicator until all those ones you want to use are on. We're just using these three for right now. I got this fourth one here because I want to show you something about the MPD. Um, but these ones is all we're going to be using for right now. Okay, once you got those selected and you play an instrument on your keyboard, you still only want to play one or the other. So to fix that, what you want to do, or well, first, we'll, like I said, we'll start off with um, the key rig, the key rig 49. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is on the key rig, you have these controls right here, these buttons. That are, you have the two um, octave buttons for transposing scale, and then you have the one above it that says, I think it says edit. It says edit mode. Okay, so you want to go ahead and select edit mode. So in order to do that, all you got to do is hit that button right there. Okay, when you hit edit mode, you see that the edit mode, that that other third blue light comes on. So now the keyboard is in edit mode. So playing the keyboard isn't going to do anything. Now, each one of these, and I will put the document in my, in the notes, in the comments, or I mean in the, in the notes under the video. But each one of these buttons, each one of the keys has a different function to it. Now, the first key is cancel. So if I was hit that first key, that blue light will actually go off. See? See, the blue light went off. Now, that first note is cancel. Every other one is different. So the first one is cancel. 
But the second one through the 17th key controls what MIDI channel that the keyboard is sitting on. So once you hit edit on the keyboard, I want to go ahead and put this to channel 2. So the first key is channel 1. Or the, I'm sorry, the second key is channel 1. The third key is going to be channel 2. So go ahead and hit the third key. And now the keyboard should be playing orchestra. Let's find out. And this one should still be playing the first one. See, that's how you do that. So now you see both these keyboards are playing three free loops at the same time, but they're playing different instruments on different channels. Now, um, the other thing you can do is... I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to channel one real quick. Hit the edit mode, change that back to channel one. Now, as, as you see, it's back on the piano. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to do it on this um, radium 49. So you see, the radium is currently on the keyboard. To change the radium is actually simpler. It's, well, not simpler, but it's more self-explanatory because it's indicated on the top row of the keyboard right here with all the options. And obviously, you want to select MIDI, the button right here. So under the screen for the Radium 49, there's a button that says MIDI slash select. Go ahead and hit that button. Bam. Now you see the red light is on. It's selecting the window. You want to go to your keys that are labeled up here. And you want to go to the one. I don't know if you guys can even see that on the camera. Can I see it on the camera? Kind of, sort of. You want to go to the one that says MIDI channel. So once you hit MIDI channel, the select will show you what channel it's on. So I'm hitting MIDI channel. And now the window shows me that it's on channel 1. Okay, so now I want to change the MIDI channel to channel 2. So I'm going to go over here and find the 2. It has numbers here. And I'm going to hit the key that corresponds with 2. And once I hit the 2, you see the screen changes to 2. Now I'm going to go all the way over here. And I'm going to hit the, see it says enter right here. Notice there's no key right here. Because I left my MIDI controller sitting on the stove while the oven was on. It's a long story. Don't ask why it was on the stove. It just was, okay? It's a Radium 49. It's a it's a good keyboard, but this one was seen its end of days. I'm about to give me another key rate. The only reason I even keep it is for the sliders. But look, we're getting off track. Um anyways. So that's the inner key right there, where it would normally be. You hit enter. So once you've done that. That screen goes to like that with the lines and dashes. Just go ahead and hit that MIDI select button again. And now, you notice it is on channel 2. And this is still on channel 1. I could even go so far as to say, hey, let's go back up to here and say, we're going to go to edit mode and change this to channel 3. Now it should be on FPC. But this is still on channel 2. And nothing's on channel 1. Now, like I say, each device is different. Um, let me change this back to channel 1. Now, the FPC is a little different. Or the FPC, the MPD. It's a little bit different because with the MPD, um, I don't really know how to do it. Okay, that's not quite true. It's semi true. Um, anyways. Um, with the, let me just go ahead and put these things on here real quick so they're all mapped to the right thing. Okay, now the funny thing about the MPD. Now, it's, you would need to change the channel for your MPD as well. But with the MPD, I don't really know how to do it. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I am going to figure it out because general purpose, I just want to figure it out. What if it comes to a point where I have multiple MPDs and I want them on specific channels, yada, 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 you know, all that stuff. So look in the next few weeks. If I get a request to do a video for the MPD, I will probably just do it right away. Because I could probably figure it out in a couple of minutes, but I'm being lazy. Because by default, once you set your MPD to FL Studio, now this is different for all programs, but in FL Studio, for the FL Studio, pre, FL Studio preset, you'll notice that it is already, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's already on channel 16. See right there on the left side, it says channel 16A. So what that means is if I just go into here and select all the channels, 
and I got my keys on that keyboard and this on this one by default this is already on channel 3 so I don't need to worry about it now there's not really on channel 3 it's on channel 16 but what the MIDI does is it selects the first available channel so if I was to select this other FPC and enable it too it's no longer going to play that FPC that I had before it's playing that one because it's going to select the bottom most selected channel according to what is currently in it so since it's on channel 16 and channels and nothing beyond channel 3 is available it's just defaulting to channel 3 so essentially I got this keyboard uh, it's on channel 1 and this is on channel 2 what here you can't even see it channel, one, channel 2 and channel 16 anything that's available whatever the last available thing is since there are only 16 channels anyways anyway so thank you guys again for watching that is how you do that if you would like to see video tutorials on any other fun stuff um, LPDs uh, I don't know if you guys can still hear me because I'm way on the other side of the room trying to put the microphone back I'm back where it was any of that stuff let me know if you want to see a specific tutorial I'll go ahead and you know set that up um, pretty much on anything because I like doing this kind of stuff so thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe dun, 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 and adios